Okay, in the last video, I gave you six different properties of integers. And now what we're going to do, we're going to use those properties to um, to prove a few interesting things. Things things that you know already, but that um, maybe you've just been told, maybe you've never seen the proof of them. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see where the proof of them actually comes from. So the first thing that we're going to prove is we're going to prove that a multiply, any, an integer multiplied by zero gives us zero. So if I, for example, if three times zero, we know that we all know that's zero, but then we're going to prove that it's zero. So we're going to prove that a times zero is equal to zero when a is an integer. So we're going to start off with this. We're going to start off with the equation zero plus zero equals zero. Now, I've written down the sides a uh, few of the steps that we're going to use. So if you want to turn off the video and try, try to do this yourself, that would be a good idea. And then you can turn it back on and see where we're going. So first step we're going to do, we're going to multiply both sides by a. So what I mean by that, we're just going to multiply. It's going to take a multiplied by zero plus zero. So multiply the left hand side by a. And then if I do it to the left hand side, I have to do it to the right hand side. So a by zero plus zero. Well, we know a by zero is equal to a by zero plus a by zero. So I can just write it out like that is equal to a times zero. So that's the first step. Second step, we're going to add minus a by zero to both sides. So we're just going to do the same thing to both sides. We're going to add this. So we have a by zero, this, plus a by zero, plus, now we're going to add minus a times zero, so plus minus a times zero is equal to a by zero, a by zero, plus, and I'm going to add minus a times zero to the right hand side, minus a by zero. Okay, now, if we look at it, we, what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to, we're going to group these terms together, because it doesn't matter the order that I add things up. So we're going to write a times zero plus, now we have this part, so I'm going to put all of that in brackets, so it's going to be a by zero plus minus a by zero equals, and if we look at the right hand side, well, we've got a by zero plus minus a times zero, but minus a times zero is, is the additive inverse of a by zero. If you remember the additive inverse, remember if we have a number like five, the additive inverse of five is the number that I can add to five which will give me zero. So five plus minus five will give me zero. If I add minus five to five, I'll get zero. So minus a times zero is the additive inverse of a. So a by zero plus minus a by zero will give me zero. But that's exactly what I have in here. We've got a by zero plus minus a times zero. So this whole expression is zero. So we have a by zero, which we're getting from there, plus this is zero, equals, and then we've got zero. But if I add zero to anything, well, we just get what with this part over here. So a by zero equals zero. So we've proven that, well, we've proven what we set out to prove. We, we wanted to prove that um, a multiplied by zero gives zero, and that's what we have down here. So again, I can write QED, we're done.